On the last episode of Xenosaga Episode 1, De Ville de Macht. What a thrill. With darkness and silence in the night. Snake Eater, I know I'm singing terribly right now. And now back to sexy robot bodies. Bonjour, ladies and gentlemen. Hanamox here with some more Xenosaga Episode 1. When we last left off, we made our way through the simulation that we had before us, and we kind of flipped out at the end. Cosmos, at least, she had a little bit of a mental breakdown or something was going on. We beat the boss, but our uh, our friend, I can't remember his name, I think it's Alan, decided to pull us out of the simulation, and now we are continuing on forward. However, as soon as I ended the last episode, I went up and I tried to uh, use this save point right here and it sent me to the PS2 configuration area. Like, if you've ever known that, like, um, if you turn on the PS2 without a disc, it goes to the configuration system. Um, oh, hold on. But apparently the, the system configuration thing with these save points is a reoccurring bug with this game. So it's random, completely random. You don't know which save points will do what. Um, so it's highly recommended that you use save states in this game um, just because then you'll lose all your progress. If I do that, because I, I did it twice, I had to play through that simulation segment twice after I beat it uh, because it just kept crashing. I also kind of noticed, look at the shadow model. That's kind of weird but cool as well. Uh, regardless, yeah, it, it is a reoccurring issue in the game and apparently it, it isn't until later in the game where that issue starts becoming more and more sparse but until at least for the time being it is a uh, very prominent so I'm not going to uh, not going to rely on these things I am going to be save stating a lot which is something I wanted to avoid uh, but alas I can I can kind of cheap it out now I can't remember what I was trying to do I think they wanted me to go see the commander or whatever or I needed to talk to what's her face I don't really want to read all these nerds' conversations because they are kind of, well, why is there, what's this? There's somebody up on the air, I can't see him. That's kind of weird. It's a girl I need to be talking to, I believe. Wait a minute, what? Chief, shall we try to start up experiment again? If there are any items you didn't get last time, I suggest you go get them now. I'm sure they'll be used from the real, real world, too. Uh, no, I won't need to do that yet. Alright, well, I guess I don't really have anything to do but leave. Uh, going upstairs, I would assume, leads me to wherever the heck this person is. Yeah, whoever you are. Oh, uh... Oh, hey, Janice. Taking a break? Oh, yeah. Oh, hi, Chief. How are you? Why don't you take a break, too? You won't hold up if you keep pushing yourself so hard. Thanks, but we're almost done. I'll be okay. No need to worry about me. Are you sure? Alright, if you say so. Oh, that's right. There's some valuable info that I wanted to share with you. I was actually keeping it quiet, hoping you'd notice on your own, but it, since it doesn't look like you will, I guess I'll have to tell you. Valuable info? Uh-huh. You know there is a red vector box inside the Encephalon, right? You mean the red vector box where all the equipment is kept? Yes, that one. We put a little something in there for you, to show your appreciation- to show our appreciation of all your hard work. We were hoping you would pick it up during the last experiment, but considering how things went, you definitely didn't have time to find it. Anyway, I think you'll like it. Uh... But I actually never got to... see what it was. Well, I might as well go and get it, I guess. I, I can't remember who I was supposed to talk to. I mean, I could probably exit through the side rooms here. It's probably her. Oh. Um, Chief, there was a strange interference earlier. Did anything unusual happen during the dive? There's no record of it in our log. I don't know what to make of it. Okay. Hello, man. Chief, I've been meaning to ask you, but why are you so devoted to Cosmos' aesthetic sensitivity system? I think we should be focusing on our, our research on Cosmos' outlying systems in order to develop her weaponry. Uh, it's because everything needs to look cool in order to be cool. Uh, I'll run the simulation again. I actually never found, uh, the key for it, I thought, but might as well go through. Roger, please take your place on the dive seat, opening a new connection. Assistant Chief, please verify the protocol. Alright, well, we'll go back in. Oh, crap. Oh, that is. Oh, that's the exit. Alright, let's see if I can get this thing. 
curious if I can now or if I have to refight the boss. I can. Battle Passport. EVS points. That wasn't what I was looking for though. Alright, apparently I come back to that red little door thing later, so I won't worry about it for now. Alright, time to leave. Bye. Oh, are we gonna get another cutscene? Of course. All Every right. time. See you later. There's a lot of cutscenes okay, in this game. Luck. Swiggity swag coming for the back one. <laughs> Well, back to work. <laughs> oh, everybody knows except for her because she is the oblivious type, don't you know? Hello, lady. Oh, chief, are you going to present your report? Good luck. Well, thank you, random unnamed random lady. I don't want to talk to everybody who's unnamed. When you have lost sight of the path, when you have become lost in life, seek information. Information will sure you, surely give you a glimmer of hope. Well, thank you for those wise words. I really appreciate it. I know I'm going to eventually die. Oh, I have an email. Ugh, emails. Email shm emails. Press release. Vectorcom Incorporated. Vectorcom Incorporated would like to take this opportunity to announce its new connection gear products. The Ryo 6... 680RR and the Ryo 60RS, 65R, whatever. These products provide improved connection capabilities to UMN access modes, which is a highly sought after feature in connection gear. Plugin module function. Adding a plugin is a very simple way to enrich software ability capabilities. It is also possible to control the Rios hardware functions themselves through the plugin. High res 3D holographic model, mon monitor. Generates accurate 3D Im images, yeah, it's pretty accurate in the background. Using a particle wave laser, it also supports window view mode for the sole purpose of displaying essential information in 2D. That's kind of my thing. Sleek, lightweight body. Although compact and weighs a mere 60 grams, it is fully loaded with the perfect balance of all essential features in a connection gear. Clan for the thin client. What? Clan for Thin Client is the routing system on the Rios and is meant for lightweight clients. Clan is a scalable system that works in architect textures of varying sizes. Clan makes it possible to use imaginary machines and storage into space through the UMN. It is possible for you to make particle practical use of the computing software power you are looking for as long as it's within the Rios' bandwidth. Angie. Pro creators employ a small AI named Angie, making it possible to gather and search information faster. Its improved speech recognition function makes it possible to communicate even using vague expressions. Well, thank you, copyright 4767 Vectorcom Incorporated, all rights preserved. Thank you. Well, I learned a lot this day. So, Vectorcom finally announced the, their latest model of connection gear, the Rios. Oh. They sure did. But guess what? I had had the Rios 680RR model even before they made their official announcement. With my connection gear, I can get all sorts of information by establishing and maintaining an on-demand network with the UMN. Yeah. The UMN has two very important roles in this world governed by the Galaxy Federation government. One role is traffic infrastructure via leaps in space. As a result, even though there's still a travel, it is made easy. I see. And the other role? The UMN is an information source that uses large decentralized network system. We employ agent-like AI called procreators like yourselves to navigate us through the giant, this giant network called the Unus Mundus Network. Well, thank you for all this exposition. It's kind of, uh, it is kind of forced, but it is awesome. Or the UMN. That's right. Well, allow me now to perform my duties as procreator. I'll give you a little more information about emails. New emails received will be displayed above old ones, which means the newest emails will always be displayed at the top of the list. That's how it works every day, everywhere. This has not changed since this time and age, okay. I have to be careful because the sorting order is different from the items list. Yeah, and note that some emails are requested to reply. Most of those emails must be answered within a fixed amount of time, so it's best to reply as soon as possible. Uh, is that really how it works in real life? 
I mean, I guess it is if you have a job. Okay, I'll make it a point to reply as soon as possible. One more thing, you can skip to important parts of emails by pressing square. Be sure to give it a try. By the way, you should have received tutorial emails from the first R&D division about equipping AGWS and characters. Please refer to them if there's anything you don't understand. Got it. What's a character? Lastly, the connection gear function is used during the encephalon test. Are you talking about the vaporizer plugin? Its functions allow the destruction of specific objects on the map. It can actually be used if it clears the next simulation test. Yeah. I bet it'll get perfect score of the test, and it's just a matter of time before someone gives you one of those and you kill somebody with it. But what am I saying? Oh, by the way, don't you need to go see the captain? You're right, I better go to the bridge to see the captain. I'm just sitting around here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so I didn't need to read anything at all. Cool. Alright, who are you? Actually, I'm not gonna talk to everybody. Nobody needs a voice everywhere. There's so many people on this ship, I'll run out of voices instantaneously. I gotta keep it for the main characters. You know, except for Alan. She's really got you trained, hasn't she, sir? What? Train? What do you, you mean? You are a dog. Hey, what are you smiling at? Hurry up and get back to work. I'm on it. See how he always changes the subject? What was that, Togashi? Nothing at all, sir. You're just hearing things. <laughs> I mean, these guys get kind of uh, jerks to each other. What's up? Still not convinced? Oh, no, it's not that. It's just... I know how you feel, but you saw what happened just now. Even the chief is cautious sometimes. Besides... Oh, that's right. You just transferred in a month ago, right? Exposition! Yes, you couldn't have known. You mean the accident from two years ago? I've heard about it, but I don't know any details. Well, I'm ready to hear this expositional plot. How oh, she left man, her CD. Not again. Well. Perfect. Now the two of you can be alone. Why don't you ask her out while you're at it? <laughs> we can handle the rest by ourselves. This is your big chance. He's gonna die. I told you guys, it's not like that. He is so gonna die. There's no way he's making it past this scene. He's just gonna blow up. Anyway, I better get this to her. With that hip walk like that, yeah. go Tiger. He's he's gonna gone. He's just gone. Jeez, they just don't know when to quit. It's not like I don't want to. I just can't. Baka. That's a romance. I feel like he's gonna die. This ship is gonna blow up at some point. All right. Oh, I oh, I didn't even get five steps, Gam. Jeez. Okay, so that's the thing we're transporting. And you. And you. You're all a bunch of slackers. Yeah. Listen up, you lazy bums oh. are the cause of that accident. You're not getting any time to confess your sins, though. Why not? Cause I'm not giving it to you. If you got time to be sorry, you got time to get your ass in gear. It's that dude. You got time to think. You got time to get your fingers moving. Don't even start thinking. You got a brain to think with. You're gonna become machines and work like them day and night. You're all a bunch of slackers. <laughs> Boy, I guess not every department's run like ours. That's the one dude from the other game. I uh, from Xenogears. I can't remember his name. He was like Commander something, but he like he had that big X on his face, and he uh, he he lost to us, and he had never lost in his life. So he took the power from Id uh, or whoever it was, and then <laughs> freaking decided to um, kill us. Well, he tried to kill us at least. He kind of went insane. And then we blew him up and killed him again. And this You're is her working here, huh? late at night. Killing yourself over work won't get you very far. Oh. Weird man. How are you? I 
had to get this data done before morning, so I... Well, what are you doing here so late, Kevin? Is it her husband do? You'd better get some sleep. We've got an early morning ahead. Here, this is for you. How did you hold that behind your oh, back without spilling thank it? Thank you. And it was poisoned. To tell you the truth, I haven't been able to sleep lately. Something's been on my mind. You. On your mind? <laughs> I'm gonna be right, huh? Hey, she has to get that work done before morning. You're wasting her time. Tomorrow she's finally going to wake up. I'm looking forward to seeing her come to life, but... I have no idea what to say to her when she wakes up. It's been bothering me. I'm just being weird, huh? Why don't you just say, good morning, Cosmos? G good morning? Well, that's what you say to someone when they wake up, right? Aw, that's what she says when, on when we first woke her up. Yeah. yeah so this guy must have right. died. Thanks. I think I can finally get some sleep now. I don't yeah, think that's what was so. keeping you up. You should get some rest too. All right. Well, good night. Good night. Was he her superior then? I that must have been the case. And then when he died or something, she yeah. took his role. Everybody's so eager to see her. And I think the the guy with the X was hitting them because the one dude just got absorbed by it. Yeah, he, he got absorbed by it. Okay, well we're bad now. <laughs> the world froze. Oh no, we got another frickin' pendant. Gosh darn it. Get out of here, Faye. And whoever the heck you are. By the way, this game is substantially shorter than um, Xenogears. I mean, all, it is three games, so it is technically longer, like 120 hours. But at least I can get a break between every series. What is she saying? I can't hear you. Are you the daughter of the I'm a goat guy? Why do you have an Enohoge on your head? Oh, she- Oh, no. Don't do it, Shion. Don't do it. You're gonna get absorbed. Like, I feel like if she's doing this and she's gonna get absorbed in real life. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, she's doing it. Well, maybe the other guy just got floated in because, um... You know, it was space. He moved forward and just couldn't get back out. I don't think they had, like, tethers or Look anything. Out! Oh, she's gonna get smacked. Watch it, you slacker! <laughs> oh, no. Only authorized personnel are allowed up here. I've had three people vanish on me already! Get the hell out of here! My men will start slacking off they see bimbos like you around! I'm so sorry. Who's the idiot that left civilians on this ship? What the hell are you staring at? Oh, oh man, he is brutal. How are people on his in his division at all? <laughs> I would just quit immediately. I would not train all my years to be on a ship like this just to be beat up by this man. 
Can I head backwards? I'm gonna do it. Let's break the law. Hey, you there, missy! Don't you get it when I tell you to stay away from there? Don't you ever ignore my orders again? I have no sense of mercy, not even for women or children. Yeah, you're right about that. You were pretty mean earlier. Ha. But I stuck my head through this thing, because I'm a ninja. What does this do? Just messing with all the buttons and stuff and blowing them up. Why don't we just send a camera through there and see what happens? Pull it back out? I mean, I guess it wouldn't happen like that. Um, excuse me, is the lieutenant commander still here? Is he still barking orders? Yeah, he's gonna beat you up. Okay, bye. What do you have for me, game? Where is the bridge? Oh, we get more cutscenes, gosh darn it. I wanna get a level 99. And then the barrel is gonna hit me. Chief? Or it's gonna kill Chief? him for some reason. Mm -hmm. Alan? What do you mean, Alan? Don't act so surprised. Didn't you forget something important? You know, it's dangerous wandering around in a daze like that. Yeah. And he's gonna get shot. Oh Sorry. no. I was just thinking about something. It's calling her name. She must know. Right? Huh? Yeah. Uh, I'm just not myself today. Man, that girl really wants us to touch it. I don't think she's good, though. Oh, don't say you froze on me. Okay, good. Alan, thanks for stepping in back there. Ah, uh, no. I, I should have spoken to the new guy earlier. So, you don't need to thank me. But, it would really help if you would try to understand their feelings more. I, I know everyone's still a little uneasy about Cosmos, but they've been pouring their hearts and souls into this project. They all want to see with their own eyes the end results of what they've been working so hard to complete. I feel the same way myself, you know? I know that. It's just that I... Chief. The incident, right? Huh? Oh, <laughs> I see. You're... Hmm? Sorry, that's not quite it. Forget about it. It's nothing. Let's just hurry up and get Cosmos completed, okay? Oh. Who could that be? More well, she was in love with Kevin. They really should stop calling you all the time. Technically, it's a violation of regulations for you to deal with other divisions. Besides, aren't they expecting you on the bridge? Oh, don't worry about it. I don't want to brush them off. Besides, it's on the way, and I've got some time. See ya. Who's to determine how much time you have? What, oh. It's a commander order for you to get on the, sh the bridge. Uh, I forgot to ask her out after work. <laughs> Poor Alan. Don't go dying on me, man. I know I say stuff like people are going to die a lot, but the, there are game signs, guys. I've played through these games. Well, not these games in particular. Uh-oh, I should bring the re I should bring the Realian service data with me. I think I left it in my room. I better go get it. Let's see, if I remember correctly, the room is straight down this corridor. Well, thank you. But I'm going this way. I want to explore. And I'm a, I'm a bit of a rebel. That lady was approaching me at max speed. I have to go back to my room. Oh, fine. What am I doing? You're being a weirdo. Oh, hello. You know what? I want to try something. BRB. Can I blow this up? Oh, that's set there for a reason. Something's gonna happen. I'm gonna get the vaporizer when I know it's gonna happen too. Hey lady. Why are you specifically blocking off that pack now? 